Hello boys and girls. I want to talk to you today about another interesting set of experiments that I'd like to do. And this has to do with acids, bases, and gases, and colors. All sorts of different things. They're all tied up together in this set of experiments. The acids are going to be grape juice, which you see here, and you see in this flask. Vinegar, which is in this cup here. Baking soda. And then some balloons and a flashlight. You're going to see how all this comes together. We're going to make use a chemical reaction to make different colors, and we're going to use the chemical reaction to make a gas, and it's going to look really foamy and cool. You're going to see that in just a minute. So first, I want to put on my safety glasses, or goggles in this case, so I'm going to do that just now before I go do anything more. I want to be safe. Don't want any splattering because acids can hurt your eyes. Baking soda isn't too bad. So, first off, I want to try and see if you can see this. This is grape juice. And this is going to be the color of grape juice. And hopefully you can see, oops. And maybe it's best to do it like that. You can see kind of the purpley color in there. Okay? It's important because that color can change. So what I'm first going to do is show um, what can happen with just grape juice and baking soda. Grape juice has what's called citric acid in it. And citric acid will react with baking soda. It's called an acid and base reaction. In this case, it's very easy to see what happens. So first we put a little stuff in there and poof, you got a foaming thing going here. And you got a lot of foam going. It's enough to just kind of barely blow up the balloon. Not blow it up really, but just kind of inflate it just a little bit. <clears throat> and the thing you also notice is now the color is a little different. Right? The color, and I'm going to shine a light through this again, is a little darker. The light's having a harder time to get through this. It's a darker color. It's a darker purple. And that has to do with the fact that you've gone from an acid to not basic, but a little, little um, less acidic. Baking soda is around neutral. So that's our first experiment. Now we're starting the experiment over again. <clears throat> so I took out the baking soda and grape juice mix that I had that was all foamy. I cleaned the flask and I put in more. So just to make sure we all remember the colors. So here we are, right? It's kind of a purpley, whereas when it was in with the baking soda, that was, um, that was not, that was darker color, a lot darker color. Now we're going to add some vinegar to this. And there's going to be a slight color change here, too. And that's probably enough. Now we're mixing it all together. And now it's actually a little lighter purple or a little lighter red, right? You can see through it a little bit better. And it's a little lighter in color. 
that's due to be more acidic because you put vinegar in there. Now we have another balloon, baking soda in it. So you would expect maybe the same thing as you saw before with the fruit juice, with the grape juice. But this time, it may be a little different. So here we go. We're going to add the baking soda to the grape juice vinegar mix. Bubble. And you can see it blows up a lot more. And now look what's happening. It was kind of purple, light purple, and now the color is changing. As the baking soda that was in here falls down. So you gotta mix it up even more. Mix it up even more. And it's all mixing up. And so the lighter color is more acidic. The darker color is more basic, like the baking soda. And they're kind of all just mixing together. That is so cool. I hope you enjoyed the little demonstration of the acids and bases. Thank you.